On to the second roll. Yeah. Look, we got a new laundry bag. Hey, we got a drawstring. <clears throat> Try it again. We got a drawstring on this one. <laughs> a drawstring. <laughs> yeah. Is that dog food? It is. Weird. <laughs> so the inspector called. Turns out it's a different inspector. And he said he'll be coming now. <laughs> Ready or not, here we come. That's been like par for the course, right? We, for, he said in an hour to two hours. An hour to two so, hours. Four down, one to go. We're good on time. Are we? I think. I like the sounds of that. It's probably only nine. Maybe he'll hit some deer and some turkey and some quail and I'll slow him down a little bit. It's very possible. We have just built the largest game of hopscotch right here. <laughs> what do we got going? Did you hear that the plumbing inspector complimented us on our plumbing? No. He said, who taught you to plumb? And I kind of didn't really have an answer. Hmm. I'm like, uh, trial and error? Yeah, so. Sweet. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, you guys are bored watching me cut cable ties, right? Wow, that's a whole lot different looking rat nest. Turned out really good. Um, we've actually got to put a couple fittings on here um, and turn these valves off, tighten everything up. Uh, and then we can do a pressure test on the system. That'll be the final check to make sure that none of the tubing is damaged or anything. Um, I don't know if you want to give an extra hand to take that silly thing out of here. Let's see, so that's open, oh, closed, open. I think that's closed. Well, we've got a small leak somewhere. So now it's time to start playing Captain Diagnosis. Just do a quick check of the pressure at the manifold. And I think we're gonna take a break and get some food. And then kind of figure out the plan for today and tomorrow. So we've got everything tightened down. Everything's adjusted. And what we're hoping to hold is 55 pounds. All right, looking good. Well, we stuffed our faces. We went to a beautiful overlook. The smoke has blown out of the valley, which is amazing. Um, it's kind of cool that Eric and Terry can see all this stuff they drove this far to check out. And we picked some fresh fruit. Got to enjoy a little bit of that. We're hoping to send them home with a bunch of fruit from the area that's just roadside fruit. So now we've got kind of a punch list to hammer out. Um, while we were at lunch, I squared away the concrete and the pump for tomorrow morning at 6.15. So we've got a lot of work to get done this evening or this afternoon. We're hoping to hammer this stuff out and maybe be done a little bit early and get to do a, just a tiny bit of sightseeing, kind of rest up a little bit, and then do a first thing in the morning concrete pour tomorrow. Here is proof. 
physical proof that this homemade ice cream exists. Oh. It must be consumed tonight. <laughs> we have to. There's no way you can leave here and not have your fullest share of homemade ice cream. I agree. Oh. <laughs> can you tell me what this foam's for exactly? Is it just protecting it from the concrete? If the con if it's poured solid, mm -hmm. being just as a drain, yep. it will actually form fit around those fittings. So if the concrete goes down, it'll push them down. If it goes up, it'll pull them up. Right. So this, no matter how, you know, if you go around it, it, it kind of softens that mm -hmm. uh, that lip right there. So the concrete can slide on it. So it, it gives a little freedom. Can you cut this like long and then just kind of yeah. stick it under? Yeah. Or does it need to be like a full wrap? Well, just, yeah, yeah it, it don't, it don't, it don't take very much. Okay. I bet you. Yeah on these smaller pipes, that would almost probably do it, I'd say. Are you supposed to do it the whole length? No, no. Ah, oh, I understand. That's what I was going to do. Just, just like that elevation. And huh. sometimes it's easier to cut it down. So, mm -hmm. it, uh, you know. Probably do two pieces too, if it's Gobbing up, yeah. And then something like that. So what are you working on at the moment? I know you're probably just checking heights on things yeah, or are you setting grade? Uh, just making sure none of the, none of the uh, conduit is looped up higher than the slab. Ah, so okay. we're going back through and getting okay. it. Kind of standing back low and looking for high spots. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Cool, and then you set basically grade pins, grade pins so you can, you can screed to them. Yep. Is that the idea? Yep, yep I can get. As before, I can get this this area yep. right to elevation. Okay. And then I can go from pin to pin, do it. Got it. I get a screed this way, yep. long ways, and then I can screed that bay straight down. Got it. Because I can go from this to our cut foam. Yep. Then pin to pin. Pin to pin. And then pin to foam. Got it. And totally makes sense. Way easy. All right, so I um, got back from the lunch and I was just kind of checking this and it looks like we lost maybe about eight pounds in a couple of hours and so did a little bit of soapy water test on all these connections which is the most likely place you're going to get a leak and found three that were kind of lightly bubbly actually this one was pretty the worst offender and then these two had just very light bubbles this water is so hot that it practically evaporates so as it hits all this metal the metal's really really hot too if this is even remotely accurate this says 124 degrees this one says 122. Gives you some idea. Wow. Wow, it's hot. Um, how hot it is over here in this corner. But we've got these bubble free. Well, there's your worst offender right there. So this, this connection is actually leaking the most. Right there. That's what happened on our, uh, our water main. The most of the leaks were actually in the main itself. I might try to tighten that down just a little bit. The problem is this this valve or this this gauge will end up rotating against the wall and then I won't be able to see it. So that's progress. Yeah, that's good. We brought the big Mamma Gemma compressor out here because the little one's having a hard time keeping up. But I don't know, maybe something else is wrong where it's not just going in very fast. We're not making ground very fast, but we'll think we'll air it up till probably 90 just to be safe so we don't overpressure it in the sun. Um, if it'll hold, it was holding 45 for the last 15 mm -hmm. minutes. So we've decided that we're going to put some sort of apron on our slab here. I don't know if we've decided it yet, but I'm getting it ready. Just We're to preparing to pour an apron, and I and I think our main reasons for that was so that the gravel isn't coming right up to the garage. Yeah. Um, any other reasons? 
and it helps to keep water out of the garage. Yep. So if it's sloping away, the water's gonna wanna go. I away. think it'll look better, but I'm pretty sure we're not really after it looks alone. It could be internet water. Internet water apparently breaks all rules. It does whatever <laughs> it wants. It, it jumps up hills, it jumps over drainage, completely ignores foundation drains. It does all kinds of stuff that normal water doesn't do. Concrete bond uh -huh. to break the concrete bond. Yep. God, it makes sense. Okay, that compacted nicely. I filled oh, yeah. in that low spot there a little bit. I wasn't trying to make more work for you. No, I just looked kind of low. Kind of lulled off there, so that's yeah, cool. yep. I'll probably just have more rock brought in instead of trying to deal with this. We'll just put some road fabric or something down, and there you go. Lay a bunch of those out, and then have there them you just go. tailgate deliver and dump it right out. Yep. What elephant turds? I have no idea. That didn't get floated. So if it's a four inch thick, but it's gonna slope down, it'd be two by four, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, do you want me to track down yeah. some two bys? Yeah, cause see this is, this is our next <coughs> grade. Okay. So we've, got a, we've got six inches, so we, could get, a, we okay. could get about a half an inch of fall from where it break, you know, from yep. this elevation and come down. Got it, cross right go there. Three quarters or so. Okay. A nice little slope right there and. Yeah. Well, it would actually be out here, but. Okay, I think good slope once we hit that edge yes. is good. Yeah. Um, Cause we may get some snow build up yeah. and stuff like that. You really just want it running away. Okay. There's one there. That one's pretty good. I can move that. I can form with that. Okay. That's got some, some bow. So much bad wood. Can't believe we got the ICFs poured with this stuff. Holy smokes. Look at that one. It's got like an S bend in it. <laughs> wow. Hey, that one's pretty good. It's got a little bit of a bend in it, but to see what you think of that. I can work with that. That's pretty good. This is a beautiful 12. That's why it's sad to try to use stacks of lumber to find one good board. Yeah, two inches and two feet. Yeah, perfect. That's an inch of foot. That's pretty. Yep. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Yep. Okay. There. 
It's not that I don't love you, you're just fired. It's actually a, it's a really weird shower. It's a three by three shower, but, but the drain, the, it, the drain, yeah, it's a, it's one of them, yeah. whatever they're called, yep. but the drain's clear back in the corner. corner of it. Yeah, weird. That's all, we actually spec the shower and then sent that to the engineer and he gave us all the, the drain centers. So, <laughs> But yeah. if we boxed it out, like. Yeah, like generous. That much, yeah. I could even cut some of that steel away if I have to, so. Okay. We can do that, Let, let's go. Okay, that. okay. Notch it all around the tubing and everything too, no? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Hey, are we, is that a Bugaboo sandbox? Nice. I bet Bugaboo feels represented. Yeah. I bet you're right. <laughs> he knows how to make a fuss. Don't, don't you worry. He knows just how to get whatever he wants. Well, we had another massively productive day. Got so many things done. Got all this stuff masked so that there's no bond between the concrete and the plumbing. Of course, finished the big project. All the radiant. Got everything formed up in the front for an approach apron. It's all looking good. It's all formed and steeled. Um, we did a sandbox over here, which is kind of cool. So we're, it's called bonding out, and we did that for the shower here. So no concrete in that box initially, and that'll leave us, that pipe will be exposed and everything. So if we need to move the drain ever so slightly for the shower, we can. That's all done. Of course, all of our plumbing is all capped. Got all this plumbing masked off to break the bond between the concrete. And the next big project, um, all these zip ties got cut. I don't, there's got to be... I think there's around 1,200 zip ties in here, and every single one of them had to be trimmed, and the girls did a fantastic job on that. And of course, kind of the, the big exciting part of this project was the manifold. Um, took quite a few troubleshooting steps to get this to stop leaking. Basically, it got really hot today. In this corner, it was like 150 degrees. And so everything expands, right? And so the, the pressure inside the tubing is expanding, yada, yada, yada. So everything started to cool down once the sun got off of it. So everything kind of needs to be like tightened up and tidied up. Did a lot of soap and water checks and looks like we're still holding 50 degrees, excuse me, 50 pounds of pressure. So all good news and we want to leave that pressurized for the poor. I'm pretty sure that everybody has calves of steel from tiptoeing in this grid for the last two days. <laughs> so hard on your calf muscles. It's like wearing high heels. So at this point, it sounds like we may have a couple extra people coming um, from our other concrete friends because they had a job that canceled yesterday or for tomorrow. So, it sounds like we have enough people. We've got a good system. Concrete's coming. It's been ordered. The pump is ordered. Pump will be here at 6 o'clock in the morning. And it's only getting light enough to pour about 6, 6.15. So, we've got to make sure that we're basically ready to rock tonight um, for mud and everything. So, I'm going to make a couple of phone calls and then we're going to jet up to a local restaurant that's right by a waterfall and enjoy dinner and share some of the local scenery with Eric and Terry and um, kind of let them see the area, which is part of why they came out uh, to help us. But they also wanted to kind of see the area and see if it's somewhere they want to bring their own family. All right, 
Alyssa's jumping in the shower. I gotta do the same. We gotta get rolling. It's about to get dark. Hopefully tomorrow by noon, there will be concrete in here and our slab will be done. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs>